Well, here we are at pre-season. I don't suppose you've had much of a summer break, have you, Paul? No, not, not a break yet. Um, I don't mind uh, keeping keep myself chicken over. So, uh, it was a good turnout. I came over on the first evening and you had the uh, best part of 120, 130 guys. So, it must be difficult to start knocking them down. Yeah, um, we've been back. This is our sixth session today. Um, we've got rid of 80 on Thursday. We've had over 120... Uh, over 120 in total, um, so it has been hard. We are down to our last 40 now, and hopefully we can break that down in the next couple of sessions, uh, and then start concentrating on the first team squad. So how difficult it is to start cutting the squad when obviously you've only get to see them for a couple of times. Is it difficult, or do you know what you're looking for? No, I think you can tell at this level of football, you can tell whether within the first 15, 20 minutes whether they're capable and got a good touch on them. You will lose a couple you slip through your fingers who are probably good enough, but obviously you can't um, cast your eye over that many players, you know, you can do the odd one or two, but not 120. So I'll guarantee you we've let a couple go and probably be up against us this season. And obviously once the uh, Eastern Junior Alliance gets underway, you'll be looking for the uh, boys from the under-18s and possibly the college team to push on for a place in the first team as well. Yeah, the college we haven't really started yet, have they? Um, the under-18s have broken down their squad now. Um, there is one or two centre forwards there who look um, quite comfortable and have done a few sessions with the first team and hopefully they can push through as well, yeah. Well, it's good to see a few of the familiar faces back, so it looks like you're obviously going to have the uh, the possibility of the backbone of the Romford team from last season. Yeah, um, a lot of the boys have been with us a long time, Steve, haven't they? And uh, we need, we've, we've let seven first team players go from last year, we need a few fresh faces in um, and we have been disappointed in the trials. Now, obviously you can't believe everything you hear, but uh, there's some very uh, serious budgets being mentioned about in the Ryman League. Would it be, would it be fair to say that this season is going to be fairly tough for you? Yeah, this season, this season out of the, uh, our third season in the Ryman is going to be the hardest. There is possibly 9 to 10 teams with a wage bill of over 15 to £2,000 a week. Um, seeing obviously it's going to be hard to compete with them, but uh, as we are as well as a football club, we, we always seem to give teams a good uh, run for their money, and I'm hoping we can uh, achieve more than what we achieved last year. And I guess obviously with the fact that we're playing outside Romford and with no budget, I guess the big selling point for Romford as well as its name is the team spirit that we seem to generate. We have a lot of players who want to play for us who could play for money, and we also seem to get a lot of players that go but come back again. Yeah, um, that, that, that side of it is where you've got to enjoy your, your football as much as you can. The youngsters, if you give them a chance at this level, they won't disappoint you. Um, the banter's got to be good in the changing rooms and the atmosphere's got to be good. And for some reason we've been doing that for the last couple of seasons and that's what seems to attract uh, the quality of players we're getting over. Now again with the pre-seasons looming up, I know a lot of supporters have a little bit of a moan about pre-season. Must admit I'm one of them. You can never work out who the players are or what the formations are. But as you've always said, pre-season's not for us, it's for you. Yeah, that's it. Um, although people look good on, on a park and play against other trialists, until you put them in the pre-season games, and then you'll know what, whether they're capable of playing at this level. Um, we have got quite a big build-up of fixtures pre-season, and we will put a few trialists out in them games. Uh, to see whether they're capable of playing at this level. OK, and the FA Cup and the FA Trophy draws are out. Now, obviously, we don't know that what the standard of our team's going to be or the standard of other teams, but again, you know, it's a good way of generating income and I guess you'll uh, you'll be looking to progress in the Cups again. Oh, massively. Um, they're, they're gambles, aren't they? They're 50-50 games. It don't matter who you get in the FA Cup or the Trophy. If you don't turn up on a day, you don't expect to go through the next round. Uh, if you do, like we did last year, we had a good run and we took some good prize money last year. Um, the two draws we got yesterday, I think Bedford's going to be an hard one in the trophy away. Um, in Holbridge and Royston in the FA Cup, that's a gamble. We won't take no one for granted and we'll make sure we're going to give 110% in the Cup games. Well, thanks for taking a time out from your hectic schedule. And we'll catch up with you in a couple of weeks' time when maybe you might have whittled it down to the final 30 or 40. Yeah, no problem. That's all right. Cheers, Dave.